JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, gunman flees with pastor's gun, leaves his behind in Yorton robbery. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. A pastor who is a licensed firearm holder was attacked and stabbed by a gunman who made off with the clergyman's gun, leaving his illegal weapon behind. The high drama occurred during a robbery near the pastor's house in Newton, St. Catherine, on Wednesday night. Police sources said the incident happened about 8.15 p.m. when the pastor returned home and exited his vehicle. It is reported that the gunman, who had a homemade firearm, accosted the pastor who held on to the robber's weapon. During a struggle, the gunman's firearm fell and he pulled a pair of scissors and stabbed the pastor several times. As the struggle continued, the pastor then pulled his firearm, which also fell. The gunman grabbed the pastor's gun and fled, leaving his homemade weapon behind. The illegal firearm was handed over to the Yorton police and the incident was reported. The pastor was taken to hospital, where he was treated for his injuries. Police have since launched a manhunt for the gunman. Man shot in bar at Nagohead, Portmore. A man was critically injured during a shooting incident at a bar in Nagohead, Portmore, St. Catherine, Thursday afternoon. Superintendent Hopton Nicholson, acting divisional commander for the St. Catherine South Division, confirmed the shooting, which he said occurred shortly before 4 p.m. The man is being treated in hospital in very serious condition, Nicholson said. Investigations are ongoing. Early morning shooting at Oxford Mall Arcade leaves man dead, vendors injured. Gunmen struck at the Oxford Mall Arcade in downtown Kingston on Thursday morning, killing a man and wounding two vendors. The identity of the deceased has not been identified, but is believed to be in his 20s. According to preliminary reports, armed men entered the market and began firing shots about 5.20 a.m., sending several early morning shoppers and vendors running for safety. When the shooting subsided, the man and two vendors were found suffering from gunshot wounds. They were assisted to hospital where the man was pronounced dead and the other injured individuals treated. A motive for the shooting incident has not been ascertained as investigations are ongoing. Two killed in Trelawney crash. Two persons died following a two-vehicle collision along the North Coast Highway in Trelawney last night. The deceased are 34-year-old Kemar Sinclair of Clarkson in Trelawney and 51-year-old Aston Jarrett of Duncan's, which is also in the parish. It is reported that about 9.30 p.m., Jarrett and his sister Audrey were driving in a Toyota Corolla motor car along the roadway. It is further reported that a Toyota Fielder motor car driven by Dennis Brown with Sinclair aboard overtook a line of vehicles and crashed into the Corolla. Both vehicles were extensively damaged. The occupants of both cars sustained multiple injuries. They were taken to hospital where Kemar Sinclair and Aston Jarrett died and the other two persons were admitted. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.